Okay, viewers, let's talk a little bit about editing videos uh, with Corel Video Studio. I edit my videos for YouTube uh, just about always. I never show a video with a raw footage that hadn't been edited. Now, we're looking at my desktop here. Let me minimize that window. Somewhere up here in the corner, you should see my face. I'm hoping it's up there anyway. We'll check when we get to editing here. But the first thing I should say is, if you look at my on my computer, and let's go to might have to put might help to put my glasses on. This PC. videos and uh, just looking handy cam here's a couple of raw video files that we can play around with with editing I delete all my raw footage from videos when I'm creating projects if I didn't it would clog up my memory of my computer uh, so I have to empty throw a whole video clips away on a regular basis but once I've created a YouTube video I save it to an external hard drive over here on, a, on my desk but I just thought I'd show you a little bit of me editing with Corel Video Studio to give you an idea about, about how I work it and I'm having a little trouble with this program I think I'm editing okay right now. So let's close that window. Let's open up Corel Video Studio. Go to Edit. Let's uh, go to Video Handicam. There's my two folders. Let me minimize that window. All right, let's take those two clips, drag them over here onto the desktop, onto the Corel Video Studio, I should say. This is the project that I'm working, and I've cre I've saved the project as. Let's see, how did I title it? Let's edit a video too. That's what I edited, I titled it. Uh, this video today might be just a little bit on the boring side for my viewers, but it gives me something to talk about. And if you're interested in Corel Video Studio, maybe, uh, maybe you'll learn a little something about how I do it. Let's go to Capture. Let's, wait a minute, we was already on Capture. I've got a multi-cam capture camera running now. So we're looking at this first clip. And this is where I made a video the other day about uh, Elrod talks about Leroy. And I remember I, I jumped up and down two or three times. Um, let's switch, switch over to where you can see the sound waves on this computer. Takes a minute for my slow computer to load the sound waves. But you can see the first one's loaded already. Now the second one's loaded. Now this top line, you got one, two, I'm pointing with my cursor. One, two, three, four lines down here where you can put stuff for the video that you're editing. This first line is what you see on the screen here, uh, the video itself. Now I can take in this first clip, it's only a couple seconds long. Correction. It's a minute and 20 seconds long. But I recall, I'll show you something here on the raw footage. Uh, a lot of people don't bother to edit the videos and you would hear me playing with my camera clearing my throat and everything else 
And nobody wants to hear that when you're watching somebody's video. I'll show you what I'm talking about. How to push project first, Walter. <coughs> now, who wants to hear me sniff and clear my throat? Nobody. I sat down in my chair and I looked at the monitor on the computer on my camera and realized I wasn't happy with that, so I jumped up and uh, changed the camera. But I remember, let me drag it over here. I'm dragging along with my cursor. I sat down in the chair. I looked to my right. I'm gonna, it looks like a pair of scissors here. I can cut that film right there. Right click on that, that part and delete it. It's gone. Now I'm looking at me looking to the right. Let's go back right there. Cut that. Throw this away. Delete. I do. You can go up here to the top and do file, edit, tools, settings, change your settings. But I, I right click down here on this area here for most of my editing. Um, as I work along, maybe you'll get some notion of how I'm doing it. Now, remember, let me make it a little bigger. Go back to the beginning. And this first clip with my head facing to the right is three seconds long. Uh, it's not very long. I wanted to put some sound bites in there. And I think I told Leroy to turn the TV down or something. <coughs> Excuse me, I got the sneezes today. But let's right click on that clip. And let's go to speed. Let's slow the speed down by down to 70%. Click OK. Now that two second video is four and a half seconds long. But when I slowed it down, I also slowed down the sound. So let's re right click on that first clip. Go to audio and mute. Now there's no sound at all on that clip. Let's jump over here to the second video clip. And just drag the cursor along to where I want to be. I played with my monitor. Got set up to start talking. Right about here is where I actually told Leroy to turn the TV down. To turn the TV down. I'm talking too soft sometimes, I think. Let me clip that. And delete it. Now it jumps from a close-up of me looking to the right to a far-off video of me looking to the right. And I'm pretty sure that's where I told Leroy to turn the TV down. To turn the TV down. Let's see if it... Hey, Leroy! Turn that television down in there. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Alright, let me clip that. Well, I don't have to. Let's see, I can... Yeah, I've started talking right there. So let's clip that right there. Uh, let's right click on this sound bite. Go to audio and split audio. Will it drop my sound bite down to the third row? I'm going to drag it over to the left. Uh, I'm going to jump back over here and find me a title. Uh, for the purposes of this video, it doesn't really matter. Let's use this title here. I remember I said uh, the name of the project was Let's Edit. Well, let's see. I'll look and make sure. name of it was Let's Edit 2. I'll highlight that. 
copy it. Go back to capture, um, to edit I mean. Now on my title, this title was used somewhere before and I saved it. Uh, I, did, I think I did a weather report that day or something. So let's backspace out of that. I want to paste my title that I just copied. Control V will put it right in there. Okay, let's edit a video too. No, oh, let's edit a video. Let's just split it off that way. There's so much that you can do with these things. I have fun just sitting and playing with editing. Okay, let's look at my sound waves again over here by clicking this little lightning bolt looking thing. And I've got, except for the part where I told Leroy to turn the video down, I've got, looks like 20 something seconds of no sound. So I can see right here, I got a little sound where I didn't say nothing, so let's shorten that. Let's look in my music. I've got videos that I copied from you, uh, sound bites that I copied from you, YouTube that I reuse periodically. Let's drag Arkansas Traveler down here to the bottom row, which is a music row. Remember, we're looking at the sound bites. You can now see that song sound waves right here on the bottom row. Let's go to see where I started talking so I'll know where to end the music. I'm just on clips, so the only thing you're going to hear is this top clip right here. Whoops. Long speed. Okay, I'm confusing myself now. I'll mute that sound. Howdy, folks. Okay, okay, that's where I wanted to be. So, right there before I said howdy, folks, I'm on. Clip it. A little bit of a sound bite in there, so let's mute that. Now, think about this. Let's clip down here on this sound wave for the Arkansas Traveler. Oh, I had it on mute. Confuse the program. Okay, now I've got it back on there. I'm confusing myself. Uh, for now, let's just drag the rest of that song down here. I might use some more of it later. So now my video sounds like this. Remember, I stuck a title in there, and I put the sound bite from Leroy, telling Leroy to turn the TV down. So let's drag the music over to after I talk to Leroy, and it'll sound like this. Hey, Leroy, turn that television down in there. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. here, remember I said that short clip is four or five seconds long, but you can see the video switches from close up to far off. We need to stick a transition in there, something that will blend those two clips together. Let's go to uh, transitions. 
I'll go to my favorites and we'll pick now let's go to popular we'll pick crossfade and stick it right between those two clips so when the, when the, those two clips meet it'll blend better watch this transition right about here see how well that blended together I like that look at my sound waves again my song is too long let's clip that delete that that little piece on the end there now I never play music in 100% sound so let's go to attribute let's lower that sound down to 50% okay every once in a while when you're creating a video you need to stop and click save there's nothing more aggravating than to have the electricity go off or the program to freeze and you've lost everything you've done sit here and edited. So now my video sounds like this. Hey Leroy, turn that television down in there. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Right here at Crossfades. Another thing I want to do, I want to make that music fade out. So let's go to audio, fade out audio. In the last couple of seconds of that music clip, the volume will lower just before I, before I start talking. Right about here. Yeah, you can hear it lower. I'm Elrod. I'm Leroy's big brother. Alright, my video is probably getting kind of long, so I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to click that. I'm going to delete this part. We can say this was lesson one on learning Corel Video Studio. Let's see, I left some music sticking out there somewhere. Let's throw that away. Now, just for kicks, I'll stop and say this could be anywhere from a two second video to a 20 minute video or an hour long video. However long you've made your video is all going to be in the program right here. I'm dragging on down to two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. But let's say I want to create a video to upload to YouTube. And this is it right here. So remember we titled it, uh, let's learn to edit. So I would go to uh, share. I set it up as an MPEG4. I would select the size of the video I wanted to make and click start and it would create the video or YouTube but I've got to stop now and edit all this that I've been doing so let's stop and stop the multicam capture right here anyway hey Leroy turn that television down in there I'm trying to make a YouTube video folks I'm Elrod I'm Leroy's big brother uh, at this point I'm going to ask you to uh, comment and like or dislike or make some kind of comment I appreciate my viewers tuning in when I'm doing some little dumb thing like this 
So I'm going to stop right here. Y'all have a good day.